Greetings, 2021 graduates. Let me start by commending you for your perseverance and congratulate you on your amazing accomplishments. Although this has been a very difficult year for many people, you have been able to overcome tremendous obstacles to reach this goal. Commencement is a special marker in time that heralds new and exciting beginnings. And although we won't be physically together to celebrate, it's still a very special day that you all deserve to be able to spend with your family and friends celebrating. I hope that you find this year's commencement ceremony, though different, very memorable. We know that we have many healthcare challenges ahead, but I'm so proud to be speaking to each one of you because I know that you are part of the solution. Your caring, your skill, your preparation, and your mission drive you to provide the care and show compassion and understanding for everyone equitably and to make your communities better places to live. This is your year. The future is bright for each of you as you start another chapter in your life. But first, know that what each and every one of you has already accomplished not only makes me proud, but it should also make you proud. Thank you for being an integral part of Frontier Nursing University's community. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. We can't wait to see what you do next. Hello, I'm Dr. Joan Slager, Dean of Nursing. Most of you began your journey with Frontier wondering if the bus would make it up the side of the mountain or would the air conditioning work on the third floor of Hagen Dorn? Could you climb the stairs at the barn one more time? Will you remember how to sign into Canvas? Will you find a clinical site or preceptor? You bravely faced the future, determined to realize your goal. We entered the third decade of the 21st century with the optimism that typically surrounds a new year. We looked forward to the grand opening of our new campus in Versailles, Kentucky. Then without warning, we confronted a global pandemic. The last 18 months have been challenging for our country, our university, and our families. Yet all of you have met those challenges, pressed on, and persevered. We couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. We couldn't be more impressed with the work you are doing. We couldn't be more grateful for your service to your communities. Commencement is the best day of the year for all of us at Frontier. And we deeply regret that we are unable to celebrate with you and your families in person. Yet we still applaud your achievements and wish you our most heartfelt congratulations. Graduates, you persevered through all the challenges of grad school plus a global pandemic. We are so proud of you. And it has been a privilege as your RCFs to watch you grow and evolve. Working with you has been amazing. We know you will do great things for the people you care for and for our profession. The world will be a better place with each of you in these leadership roles. Congratulations, graduates. Yay! Yay. Congratulations, you did it. Your hard work has paid off. We know it hasn't been easy. As your RCFs, we've enjoyed being part of your clinical journey. As you become nurse midwives and women's health nurse practitioners. Thank you for caring for our future moms and babies. Best wishes to the 2021 graduates. Yay, Yay. congratulations. Yay. So proud. Hi graduates, I'm Tanya Nicholson. I'm the department chair of Midwifery and Women's Health at Frontier Nursing University. And I just want to wish you the warmest, most heartfelt, sincere congratulations for all your hard work, for the excitement of what's to come in your careers. I just want to applaud your dedication, your commitment, your perseverance through some really hard times over the last several years. Many of you have faced things that you never thought you could face, but I just wanna tell you and wish you probably the happiest thing I could, and that's that you look back with no regret over the years, that you look back and you say, I did what I set out to do. 
I love being a midwife or a women's health care nurse practitioner, and I'm thankful that I did it and I would do it again and again and again. That's my wish for you. Congratulations on this perfect and wonderful day. Welcome graduates. I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel, the chair for the Department of Family Nursing. And I'm Dr. Katherine Arterberry, the clinical director for the Family Nurse Practitioner Program. Congratulations to Frontier Nursing University's 2020 and 2021 graduates. You have achieved a major accomplishment in your in your profession. You are well prepared to move into the clinical setting and care for families and individuals as advanced practice nurses. Your didactic coursework is done. You have completed all of your clinical hours and we just want to encourage you that your ability to impact your patients, their families, and the community is just beginning. Go forth and conquer. Congratulations and bravo. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings to you all on this momentous occasion of your graduation from Frontier Nursing University. My name is Dr. Jane Houston and I'm the director of the DNP program. And it really is a great honor to send you some words of congratulations to all of you. And on behalf of the DNP faculty and staff, we really want to say congratulations. We heart all of you and your families on this great commitment to complete your terminal degree in nursing during the pandemic. So congratulations to all, especially all you doctors of nursing practice. We are so very proud of you. Go Frontier Nursing University graduation 2021. From your friends in advising. Registrar. And student services. We would like to congratulate our graduates. Yay! Yay! Yay congratulations! Yay. Congratulations, class of 2021. This is Dr. Stonegale, and on behalf of myself as well as Dr. Wilkinson, I would like to say that we are so proud of the fact that you have completed your journey for your education as a family nurse practitioner at Frontier Nursing University. These have been some challenging times in the past year and a half, and you have persevered through that. You have made my job a pleasure because it has been such a pleasure to watch you come into the management course and you are green, not knowing anything and going out golden. And we hope that you take the resources that we have given you we hope that you will continue the culture of caring as you move on in your journey as a nurse practitioner. We hope that you will educate others and encourage others to advance their education. But most of all, we hope you take wonderful care of your patients. This has been a very tough program and you have gotten through it and you have done a phenomenal job. We are so proud of you, so excited to watch what you do with your career and the avenues that you choose to do things as a nurse practitioner. So although you won't be able to walk the stage this year, we want you to know that we are proud of you. The graduation that you will attend virtually will be a treasure for you and for us. And we wish you the best moving forward. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the nursing graduates from Frontier Nursing University. My name is Bill Corley. I'm a new board member with Frontier Nursing University. I wanna thank each of you for your per persistence and drive to achieve your degree. The nursing faculty and preceptors provided assistance to you to achieve this degree. Please thank them. I know you will make a difference in the lives of patients and their families. Here are three thoughts for your career. First, 
Relationships with people and patients are critical. You will continue to learn from your patients each day. Two, stay humble. Your team deserves the credit. And three, allow curiosity to be your compass in your life. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak with you today and best of luck in your future endeavors with Frontier Nursing University. Congratulations to Frontier Nursing University's class of 2021. You've done it. You've hit your goals and now it's time to go out and celebrate before you come back into the circle of colleagues and get to work. Congratulations. Congratulations to the graduates of 2021. It's Dr. Tebenhoff wishing you the absolute best. You are exactly where you are supposed to be at this point in your career and know exactly what you need to know to go forward. Make sure to extend grace and kindness to everyone, particularly yourselves. Congratulations. Hi, midwives and WHNPs. You did it, you graduated. I wish I were there to give you a hug in person. You went through the whole comps course. It's Kendra Fawcett here since saying, saying congratulations. You all went all the way through the Kelsey book. It was painful, I know. You tabbed the heck out of your Varney and read it more. We learned about genetic screening, informed consent and the genetic screening buckets. You all learned the cardinal movements how to get these babies out, lots of sleepless nights in clinic. Oh, MA, that's okay. Born by flexion through the curve of Keras. You will learn about the menstrual cycle and making estrogen, ovulating. Then you have a corpus luteum. It only lasts two weeks. What else? I saw you on Proctorio trying to be the baby to figure out which position this kiddo was in. You all learned about the progesterone challenge test, the layers of the endometrium when someone is anovulatory. I could go on. You've done a lot, a lot of work. And to family members, congratulations for helping this graduate get across the finish line. Welcome aboard, colleagues. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy collins fillet one of the DMP clinical faculty. And I want to say a sincere congratulations to all the graduates. I'm sure you never imagined how much work and time you would put into school when you started your doctoral education. You have sacrificed much in your pursuit of this dream. You missed family events, delayed vacations, the late nights working on assignments, the technology issues, the tears, the frustrations, we even had a few hurricanes and a pandemic thrown in to complicate things even more. Be honest. How many times did you want to give up? But you didn't. You somehow found the strength and courage that you never knew you had to go on. Did you know that only 1% of nurses and 1% of the general population have a doctoral degree? So I'd like to give a big shout out to all the students who are part of Team Foulet this last year. I am so proud of what you have accomplished and how you've grown. You are in that small 1% of the population that now has the knowledge and skills to lead the way. You have been called to this higher purpose of leading others as they care for human souls. Use what you have to make the world a better place. Soar above the crowd. I want to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by E.M. Kelly. It goes like this. Remember the difference between a boss and a leader. A boss says, go. A leader says, let's go together. So congratulations again. I am so proud of all of you. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Keith. I really wish this was in person. Um, I wanna take a moment to say congratulations on your achievement. I am so proud of each of you. What an accomplishment. I know that you worked hard and that was 
schooling was made especially tough in this challenging time. Uh, thank you for your work and for your perseverance and for your commitment. This world needs you. Uh, we need you. Your communities need you. Your patients need you. And I know you're ready because I know that this program prepared you. Please don't ever forget what it feels like to be, to live the culture of caring um, and spread it liberally through the nursing profession. I think it's something that we all need a little more of. So welcome fellow alumni. And uh, I can't wait to hear what you accomplish. Outreach and Placement Team would like to say congratulations to all of our graduates. You did it. You made it. After all the studying and hard work, the day you've been waiting for is finally here. We are so proud of you. Congratulations and best wishes as you go out to change the world one patient at a time. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Janet McMillan from the Psychiatric Nurse Practitioner Track. I am so excited for each and every one of you. You have earned this honor through your hard work and dedication. I know it has been a long and stressful journey and you have had to endure many challenges throughout your educational trajectory, but you have emerged on the other side as competent professionals who will be able to take these experiences into your practices to provide the highest quality care for your patients. You have one more challenge ahead of you, and that is to take your certification exam. You have come through an excellent program that has provided you with a foundation of knowledge that will help you be successful. So relax a little while, study to refresh your knowledge, and take on this next challenge with confidence. Be proud of yourself because you're part of something special. You're an advanced practice professional nurse and an alumnus of the best program in the country. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations and take care. On behalf of the Nurse Midwifery and Women's Health Clinical Bound team, we would like to congratulate you on a triumphant year. You persevered through the worst pandemic of the 21st century. You knocked down barriers and overcame obstacles that blocked your path. You remain steadfast through every challenge and disappointment. So congratulations. 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 Congratulations, class of 2021. We could not be more proud. Yay! <laughs> Greetings, 2021 graduates. Let me start by commending you for your perseverance and congratulate you on your amazing accomplishments. Although this has been a very difficult year for many people, you have been able to overcome tremendous obstacles to reach this goal. Commencement is a special marker in time that heralds new and exciting beginnings. And although we won't be physically together to celebrate, it's still a very special day that you all deserve to be able to spend with your family and friends celebrating. I hope that you find this year's commencement ceremony, though different, very memorable. We know that we have many healthcare challenges ahead, but I'm so proud to be speaking to each one of you because I know that you are part of the solution. Your caring, your skill, your preparation, and your mission drive you to provide the care and show compassion and understanding for everyone equitably and to make your communities better places to live. This is your year. The future is bright for each of you as you start another chapter in your life. But first, know that what each and every one of you has already accomplished not only makes me proud, but it should also make you proud. Thank you for being an integral part of Frontier Nursing University's community. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. We can't wait to see what you do next.
Hello, I'm Dr. Joan Slager, Dean of Nursing. Most of you began your journey with Frontier wondering if the bus would make it up the side of the mountain, or would the air conditioning work on the third floor of Hagen Dorm? Could you climb the stairs at the barn one more time? Will you remember how to sign into Canvas? Will you find a clinical site or preceptor? You bravely faced the future, determined to realize your goal. We entered the third decade of the 21st century with the optimism that typically surrounds a new year. We looked forward to the grand opening of our new campus in Versailles, Kentucky. Then without warning, we confronted a global pandemic. The last 18 months have been challenging for our country, our university, and our families. Yet all of you have met those challenges, pressed on, and persevered. We couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. We couldn't be more impressed with the work you are doing. We couldn't be more grateful for your service to your communities. Commencement is the best day of the year for all of us at Frontier, and we deeply regret that we are unable to celebrate with you and your families in person. Yet we still applaud your achievements and wish you our most heartfelt congratulations. Graduates, you persevered through all the challenges of grad school plus a global pandemic. We are so proud of you. And it has been a privilege as your RCFs to watch you grow and evolve. Working with you has been amazing. We know you will do great things for the people you care for and for our profession. The world will be a better place with each of you in these leadership roles. Congratulations, graduates. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, you did it! Your hard work has paid off. We know it hasn't been easy. As your RCFs, we've enjoyed being part of your clinical journey. As you become nurse midwives and women's health nurse practitioners. Thank you for caring for our future moms and babies. Best wishes to the 2021 graduates. Yay, congratulations. Yay. So proud. Hi, graduates. I'm Tanya Nicholson. I'm the department chair of Midwifery and Women's Health at Frontier Nursing University. And I just want to wish you the warmest, most heartfelt, sincere congratulations for all your hard work, for the excitement of what's to come in your careers. I just want to applaud your dedication, your commitment, your perseverance through some really hard times over the last several years. Many of you have faced things that you never thought you could face, but I just want to tell you and wish you probably the happiest thing I could, and that's that you look back with no regret over the years, that you look back and you say, I did what I set out to do. I love being a midwife or a women's health care nurse practitioner, and I'm thankful that I did it and I would do it again and again and again. That's my wish for you. Congratulations on this perfect and wonderful day. Welcome graduates. I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel, the chair for the Department of Family Nursing. And I'm Dr. Katherine Arterberry, the clinical director for the Family Nurse Practitioner Program. Congratulations to Frontier Nursing University's 20 20 and 2021 graduates. You have achieved a major accomplishment in your in your profession, you are well prepared to move into the clinical setting and care for families and individuals as advanced practice nurses. Your didactic coursework is done. You have completed all of your clinical hours and we just want to encourage you that your ability to impact your patients, their families, and the community is just beginning. Go forth and conquer. Congratulations and bravo. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Greetings to you all on this momentous occasion of your graduation from Frontier Nursing University. My name is Dr. Jane Houston and I'm the director of the DNP program. And it really is a great honor to send you some words of congratulations to all of you 
And on behalf of the DNP faculty and staff, we really want to say congratulations. We heart all of you and your families on this great commitment to complete your terminal degree in nursing during the pandemic. So congratulations to all, especially all you doctors of nursing practice. We are so very proud of you. Go Frontier Nursing University graduation 2021. From your friends in advising, registrar, and student services. We would like to congratulate our graduates. Yay! Woo! Yay, congratulations! Yay. Congratulations, class of 2021. This is Dr. Stonegale, and on behalf of myself, as well as Dr. Wilkinson, I would like to say that we are so proud of the fact that you have completed your journey for your education as a family nurse practitioner at Frontier Nursing University. These have been some challenging times in the past year and a half, and you have persevered through that. You have made my job a pleasure because it has been such a pleasure to watch you come into the management course and you are green, not knowing anything and going out golden. And we hope that you take the resources that we have given you we hope that you will continue the culture of caring as you move on in your journey as a nurse practitioner. We hope that you will educate others and encourage others to advance their education. But most of all, we hope you take wonderful care of your patients. This has been a very tough program and you have gotten through it and you have done a phenomenal job. We are so proud of you, so excited to watch what you do with your career and the avenues that you choose to do things as a nurse practitioner. So although you won't be able to walk the stage this year, we want you to know that we are proud of you. The graduation that you will attend virtually will be a treasure for you and for us. And we wish you the best moving forward. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the nursing graduates from Frontier Nursing University. My name is Bill Corley. I'm a new board member with Frontier Nursing University. I wanna thank each of you for your per persistence and drive to achieve your degree. The nursing faculty and preceptors provided assistance to you to achieve this degree. Please thank them. I know you will make a difference in the lives of patients and their families. Here are three thoughts for your career. First, relationships with people and patients are critical. You will continue to learn from your patients each day. Two, stay humble. Your team deserves the credit. And three, allow curiosity to be your compass in your life. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak with you today and best of luck in your future endeavors with Frontier Nursing University. Congratulations to Frontier Nursing University's class of 2021. You've done it. You've hit your goals and now it's time to go out and celebrate before you come back into the circle of colleagues and get to work. Congratulations. Congratulations to the graduates of 2021. It's Dr. Tebenhoff wishing you the absolute best. You are exactly where you are supposed to be at this point in your career and know exactly what you need to know to go forward. Make sure to extend grace and kindness to everyone, particularly yourselves. Congratulations. Hi, midwives and WHMPs. You did it, you graduated. I wish I were there to give you a hug in person. You went through the whole comps course. It's Kendra Fawcett here saying, saying congratulations. 
You all went all the way through the Kelsey book. It was painful, I know. You tabbed the heck out of your Varney and read it more. We learned about genetic screening informed consent and the genetic screening buckets. You all learned the cardinal movements, how to get these babies out, lots of sleepless nights in clinic. Oh, MA, that's okay. Born by flexion through the curve of Keras. You all learned about the menstrual cycle and making estrogen, ovulating. Then you have a corpus luteum. It only lasts two weeks. What else? I saw you on Proctorio trying to be the baby to figure out which position this kiddo was in. You all learned about the progesterone challenge test, the layers of the endometrium when someone is anovulatory. I could go on. You've done a lot, a lot of work. And to family members, congratulations for helping this graduate get across the finish line. Welcome aboard, colleagues. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy collins Fillet, one of the DMP clinical faculty. And I want to say a sincere congratulations to all the graduates. I'm sure you never imagined how much work and time you would put into school when you started your doctoral education. You have sacrificed much in your pursuit of this dream. You missed family events, delayed vacations, the late nights working on assignments, the technology issues, the tears, the frustrations, we even had a few hurricanes and a pandemic thrown in to complicate things even more. Be honest, how many times did you want to give up? But you didn't. You somehow found the strength and courage that you never knew you had to go on. Did you know that only 1% of nurses and 1% of the general population have a doctoral degree? So I'd like to give a big shout out to all the students who are part of Team Foulet this last year. I am so proud of what you have accomplished and how you've grown. You are in that small 1% of the population that now has the knowledge and skills to lead the way. You have been called to this higher purpose of leading others as they care for human souls. Use what you have to make the world a better place. Soar above the crowd. I want to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by E.M. Kelly. It goes like this. Remember the difference between a boss and a leader. A boss says, go. A leader says, let's go together. So congratulations again. I am so proud of all of you. Hi everyone, it's Dr. Keefe. I really wish this was in person. Um, I wanna take a moment to say congratulations on your achievement. I am so proud of each of you. What an accomplishment. I know that you worked hard and that was schooling was made especially tough in this challenging time. Uh, thank you for your work and for your perseverance and for your commitment. This world needs you. Uh, we need you. Your communities need you. Your patients need you. And I know you're ready because I know that this program prepared you. Please don't ever forget what it feels like to be, to live the culture of caring um, and spread it liberally through the nursing profession. I think it's something that we all need a little more of. So welcome fellow alumni. And uh, I can't wait to hear what you accomplish. Outreach and Placement Team would like to say congratulations to all of our graduates. You did it. You made it. After all the studying and hard work, the day you've been waiting for is finally here. We are so proud of you. Congratulations and best wishes as you go out to change the world one patient at a time. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Janet McMillan from the Psychiatric Nurse Practitioner Track. I am so excited for each and every one of you. You have earned this honor through your hard work and dedication. I know it has been a long and stressful journey and you have had to endure many challenges throughout your educational trajectory, but you have emerged on the other side as competent professionals 
who will be able to take these experiences into your practices to provide the highest quality care for your patients. You have one more challenge ahead of you, and that is to take your certification exam. You have come through an excellent program that has provided you with a foundation of knowledge that will help you be successful. So relax a little while, study to refresh your knowledge, and take on this next challenge with confidence. Be proud of yourself because you're part of something special. You're an advanced practice professional nurse and an alumnus of the best program in the country. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations and take care. On behalf of the Nurse Midwifery and Women's Health Clinical Bound team, we would like to congratulate you on a triumphant year. You persevered through the worst pandemic of the 21st century. You knocked down barriers and overcame obstacles that blocked your path. You remain steadfast through every challenge and disappointment. So congratulations. 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 Congratulations, class of 2021. We could not be more proud. Yay! <laughs>Greetings, 2021 graduates. Let me start by commending you for your perseverance and congratulate you on your amazing accomplishments. Although this has been a very difficult year for many people, you have been able to overcome tremendous obstacles to reach this goal. Commencement is a special marker in time that heralds new and exciting beginnings. And although we won't be physically together to celebrate, it's still a very special day that you all deserve to be able to spend with your family and friends celebrating. I hope that you find this year's commencement ceremony, though different, very memorable. We know that we have many healthcare challenges ahead, but I'm so proud to be speaking to each one of you because I know that you are part of the solution. Your caring, your skill, your preparation, and your mission drive you to provide the care and show compassion and understanding for everyone equitably and to make your communities better places to live. This is your year. The future is bright for each of you as you start another chapter in your life. But first, know that what each and every one of you has already accomplished not only makes me proud, but it should also make you proud. Thank you for being an integral part of Frontier Nursing University's community. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. We can't wait to see what you do next. Hello, I'm Dr. Joan Slager, Dean of Nursing. Most of you began your journey with Frontier wondering if the bus would make it up the side of the mountain. Or would the air conditioning work on the third floor of Hagen Dorm? Could you climb the stairs at the barn one more time? Will you remember how to sign into Canvas? Will you find a clinical site or preceptor? You bravely faced the future, determined to realize your goal. We entered the third decade of the 21st century with the optimism that typically surrounds a new year. We looked forward to the grand opening of our new campus in Versailles, Kentucky. Then without warning, we confronted a global pandemic. The last 18 months have been challenging for our country, our university, and our families. Yet all of you have met those challenges, pressed on, and persevered. We couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. We couldn't be more impressed with the work you are doing. We couldn't be more grateful for your service to your communities. Commencement is the best day of the year for all of us at Frontier. And we deeply regret that we are unable to celebrate with you and your families in person. Yet we still applaud your achievements and wish you our most heartfelt congratulations. Graduates, you persevered through all the challenges of grad school plus a global pandemic. We are so proud of you. And it has been a privilege as your RCFs 
to watch you grow and evolve. Working with you has been amazing. We know you will do great things for the people you care for and for our profession. The world will be a better place with each of you in these leadership roles. Congratulations, graduates. Yay! Yay. Congratulations, you did it. Your hard work has paid off. We know it hasn't been easy. As your RCFs, we've enjoyed being part of your clinical journey. As you become nurse midwives and women's health nurse practitioners. Thank you for caring for our future moms and babies. Best wishes to the 2021 graduates. Yay, Yay. congratulations. Yay. So proud. Hi graduates, I'm Tanya Nicholson. I'm the department chair of Midwifery and Women's Health at Frontier Nursing University. And I just want to wish you the warmest, most heartfelt, sincere congratulations for all your hard work, for the excitement of what's to come in your careers. I just want to applaud your dedication, your commitment, your perseverance through some really hard times over the last several years. Many of you have faced things that you never thought you could face, but I just wanna tell you and wish you probably the happiest thing I could, and that's that you look back with no regret over the years, that you look back and you say, I did what I set out to do. I love being a midwife or a women's health care nurse practitioner, and I'm thankful that I did it, and I would do it again and again and again. That's my wish for you. Congratulations on this perfect and wonderful day. Welcome graduates. I'm Dr. Lisa Chappell, the chair for the Department of Family Nursing. And I'm Dr. Katherine Arterberry, the clinical director for the Family Nurse Practitioner Program. Congratulations to Frontier Nursing University's 2020 and 2021 graduates. You have achieved a major accomplishment in your in your profession, you are well prepared to move into the clinical setting and care for families and individuals as advanced practice nurses. Your didactic coursework is done. You have completed all of your clinical hours and we just wanna encourage you that your ability to impact your patients, their families, and the community is just beginning. Go forth and conquer. Congratulations and bravo. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Greetings to you all on this momentous occasion of your graduation from Frontier Nursing University. My name is Dr. Jane Houston and I'm the director of the DNP program. And it really is a great honor to send you some words of congratulations to all of you. And on behalf of the DNP faculty and staff, we really want to say congratulations. We heart all of you and your families on this great commitment to complete your terminal degree in nursing during the pandemic. So congratulations to all, especially all you Doctors of Nursing Practice, we are so very proud of you. Go Frontier Nursing University, graduation 2021. From your friends in advising. Registrar. And student services. We would like to congratulate our graduates. Yay! Woo! Yay, congratulations! Yay. Congratulations, class of 2021. This is Dr. Stonegale, and on behalf of myself, as well as Dr. Wilkinson, I would like to say that we are so proud of the fact that you have completed your journey for your education as a family nurse practitioner at Frontier Nursing University. These have been some challenging times in the past year and a half, and you have persevered through that. You have made my job a pleasure because it has been such a pleasure to watch you come into the management course and you are green, not knowing anything, and going out golden. And we hope that you take the resources that we have given you, 
we hope that you will continue the culture of caring as you move on in your journey as a nurse practitioner. We hope that you will educate others and encourage others to advance their education. But most of all, we hope you take wonderful care of your patients. This has been a very tough program and you have gotten through it and you have done a phenomenal job. We are so proud of you, so excited to watch what you do with your career and the avenues that you choose to do things as a nurse practitioner. So although you won't be able to walk the stage this year, we want you to know that we are proud of you. The graduation that you will attend virtually will be a treasure for you and for us and we wish you the best moving forward. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the nursing graduates from Frontier Nursing University. My name is Bill Corley. I'm a new board member with Frontier Nursing University. I wanna thank each of you for your per persistence and drive to achieve your degree. The nursing faculty and preceptors provided assistance to you to achieve this degree. Please thank them. I know you will make a difference in the lives of patients and their families. Here are three thoughts for your career. First, relationships with people and patients are critical. You will continue to learn from your patients each day. Two, stay humble. Your team deserves the credit. And three, allow curiosity to be your compass in your life. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak with you today and best of luck in your future endeavors with Frontier Nursing University. Congratulations to Frontier Nursing University's class of 2021. You've done it. You've hit your goals and now it's time to go out and celebrate before you come back into the circle of colleagues and get to work. Congratulations. Congratulations to the graduates of 2021. It's Dr. Tebenhoff wishing you the absolute best. You are exactly where you are supposed to be at this point in your career and know exactly what you need to know to go forward. Make sure to extend grace and kindness to everyone, particularly yourselves. Congratulations. Hi, midwives and WHMPs. You did it, you graduated. I wish I were there to give you a hug in person. You went through the whole comps course. It's Kendra Fawcett here since saying, saying congratulations. You all went all the way through the Kelsey book. It was painful, I know. You tabbed the heck out of your Varney and read it more. We learned about genetic screening, informed consent and the genetic screening buckets. You all learned the cardinal movements how to get these babies out, lots of sleepless nights in clinic. Oh, MA, that's okay. Born by flexion through the curve of Keras. You will learn about the menstrual cycle and making estrogen, ovulating. Then you have a corpus luteum. It only lasts two weeks. What else? I saw you on Proctorio trying to be the baby to figure out which position this kiddo was in. You all learned about the progesterone challenge test, the layers of the endometrium when someone is anovulatory. I could go on. You've done a lot, a lot of work. And to family members, congratulations for helping this graduate get across the finish line. Welcome aboard, colleagues.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Frontier Nursing University Commencement Ceremony. While we are disappointed that, once again, we can't be all together in the same place geographically, I am grateful for this technology that allows us to celebrate this day together. And I'm also grateful that all of you have taken the time to join the celebration. Welcome also to our distinguished guest speakers, our faculty colleagues, our board members, our alumni, all the family and friends, and most importantly, to you, our 2021 graduating class. Regardless of the setting, it's always special to celebrate the accomplishments of our students. And we know it's been a challenging year in so many ways, and yet you persevered and reached your goal. I know your supporters, your family and friends are proud too. We salute your family and friends. We thank them for the role that they played in helping you reach this goal. We know that many sacrifices were made and that it takes the whole family working together to achieve milestones such as this big one today. The past two years have been incredibly difficult, so meant for so many people. I'm very proud of the determination and the desire that you displayed in achieving your degree. And I urge you to take a moment to reflect on all of that you have accomplished, the hurdles that you overcame, the sacrifices that you made, and just take great pride in today's accomplishment. I think we can all agree that COVID-19 has really demonstrated the invaluable roles that nurses and midwives play in providing healthcare access really across the entire globe. And after today, each of you will be able to say that you graduated during an unforgettable time in our world history. But now you are prepared to take the next step you have seen and learned firsthand how important your work is to the health of communities. You know that you can and will make a difference because you have the knowledge, the skills, the training, and the determination most of all to do so. You've chosen a path to answer the call, to make a difference in the people of your community. That's what Frontier Nursing University expects from all of our members of our community. We make a difference by answering the call to serve. We need you now more than ever, and we thank you for answering the call. Congratulations to each and every one of you on this special day. We're so happy you're joining us, and we are, hope that you enjoy this special celebration with your classmates, your friends, and your family. I know you will do great things in service to others. Thank you for representing Frontier Nursing University and continuing to make us proud. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Dr. Michael Carter, who has served as the chairman of our board of directors for the past 16 years. Dr. Kit Carter, who's a family nurse practitioner himself, has provided the skill, the vision, and the commitment to bring our university to the success that we see today. Dr. Carter? Thank you, Dr. Stone. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors of Frontier Nursing University, I salute all of you for your dedication and commitment, and thank you for the service you provide in communities across the country. Now, FNU's Dean of Nursing, Dr. Joni Slager, will uh, help us welcome and introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you, Dr. Carter. Good afternoon. I have the privilege of introducing Dr. LaTanya Trotter, who will deliver this afternoon's commencement address. Dr. LaTanya J. Trotter is an Associate Professor of Bioethics and Humanities at the University of Washington. A medical sociologist, ethnographer, and author, Dr. Trotter is the author of More Than Medicine, Nurse Practitioners and the Problems They Solve for Patients, healthcare organizations, and the state. The book, which was published in 2020, chronicles a group of nurse practitioners as they care and provide for 400 Black older adults living with poor health and limited means. Dr. Trotter explores 
the care they provide, and how it addresses medical, social, and systemic issues that are prevalent in underprivileged and underserved members of the community. Dr. Trotter has also published in the Journal of Contemporary Ethnography, Social Currents, and Gender and Society. On her website, latanyatrotter.com, Dr. Trotter states, as a scholar, I take the prominence of healthcare seriously using its terrain to understand how regimes of inequality are reproduced through the social construction of problems, patients, and professionals. Dr. Trotter was awarded a Bachelor of Arts from Williams College, majoring in sociology and American studies. She earned a Master of Public Health from the University of Washington and a Doctor of Philosophy and Sociology from Princeton University. Prior to her position at the University of Washington, Dr. Trotter was an assistant professor of sociology at Vanderbilt University. Please join me in welcoming our keynote speaker, Dr. LaTanya Trotter. Ah, excellent. Um, thank you, Dr. Schlager, um, for that generous introduction. Um, and I have to say, I was just really so honored when President Stone invited me to speak with you today, um, because I am someone who has quite literally built a career by listening to and learning from advanced practice nurses. Nursing, as the saying goes, has proven to be the founder of my feast. Um, so whenever I get a chance to give back to the community that I've come to know, I say yes, and I'm here but I'm not going to bore you by talking about my research, mostly, because today the spotlight is on you and your accomplishments, because what you have achieved is significant. I cannot know what individual hurdles each of you face to get here, what sacrifices your partners, children, and parents may have made in supporting you, but I do know there isn't a person among you who have not had hills to climb. I may not know exactly what it feels like to get a graduate degree in nursing, but not that many years ago, I had my own experience with being a graduate student. So I know firsthand, it ain't easy. So congratulations to each of you for making it through, for fighting the fight and for staying the course. But I want to do more than congratulate you on your achievements to date. I want to congratulate you on what you will accomplish in the days to come. Because today we celebrate, tomorrow you rest, but come Monday, each of you will have a job to do with new hurdles to face. Because you are one of many cohorts of nurses of all kinds who are graduating into the single greatest healthcare disaster of our time. So for the last few months, I've been interviewing nurses, most of whom work in the acute care setting, and they've been sharing their experience with me, their experiences with me working on the front lines of the pandemic. I spoke with a cardiac pulmonary nurse a few days ago, um, whose unit has become for all intents and purposes, a COVID unit. And she spoke to me, not only about the death and suffering that she's witnessed, but of the horrors of the mundane. She recounted how her hospital is releasing patients earlier than they otherwise might in order to free up capacity. Patients who are then re-entering the community with higher needs for care. She talked to me about seeing more patients who on top of their acute medical needs are struggling with alcohol and drug dependence, with anxiety and depression. And now because of the pandemic, they have gone literally years without a consistent source of care and they are coming home. And we'll turn to many of you. I recently interviewed a nurse practitioner, much like you actually. Um, she was a new NP grad um, who was working um, in a, at a neighborhood health clinic. Um, it's a federally qualified healthcare center. Um, all of her patients um, struggle um, with social and economic precarity. And she talked to me about what is she, what she's seeing about how the pandemic is shaping her own practice. She said, obviously an outpatient, the patients I see don't have COVID, but many of them had COVID in the past year. And you know, things just haven't gone back to normal. And we're trying to figure out like what exactly their new baseline is going to be and what other things we can do. Some of them were hospitalized and intubated, they were in comas, and they're really starting life from a totally different health point than they were a year ago. She talked to me about her struggles to provide the kind of care that is sensitive to the national trauma of the last two years. And she told me 
it does become extremely mentally taxing because there's just so much like trauma that's not even yours, right? Like I'm not the sick person, but I'm hearing their stories and helping them navigate these things. And the pandemic has only made that worse. So these are the words that she used to narrate the struggles of her practice. And so it may be for many of you as you enter the community. Now, I know that these are things that most of you already know um, that you have some experiences with, um, and you probably don't appreciate me reminding you of all this doom and gloom as you graduate. Um, but I began my remarks by saying that I wanted to celebrate you for what you will achieve in the days to come, because I know that the challenges that are to come are ones that you can meet because I'm not suggesting that you can solve the social, political, or economic problems that your patients face from inside the exam room. That room is much too small and much too humble for something as grand as world peace or justice for all. But that room is just large enough for you to meet your patients where they are and to help them get to the place where they can fight these battles on their own terms and in their own ways. Because speaking as a patient, I can say that when you're fighting for your life and the lives of those you care about, it matters. It truly matters when you know that you can walk into a medical office or a clinic and feel that you found an ally, a willing partner who can help you find and marshal your own resources to fight for life, to fight for dignity, for justice, and for joy. And I know that you all have the capacity to be, to be this kind of ally and to be this kind of provider. And I know this in part because you've been educated in the tradition of Frontier Nursing University, whose historical commitment to meet the needs of the underserved has not diminished, but has only grown, grown stronger with time. You are graduating from a nursing school that has literally become the standard bearer and what it looks like to live out a commitment to create a nursing workforce that looks as diverse as its patients. But I also know that you're up for the fight because of what I know about nursing as a profession. I know that you as nurses are capable of doing what needs to be done because as I said, I've made a career studying you <laughs> and learning from you. And there are at least three things that I've learned about what advanced practice nurses bring to healthcare. You've all spent years here at Frontier Nursing, learning new things about your patients and learning new skills. But the thing that really will make you special is how you employ that knowledge and how you deploy those skills. And one of the things that grounds that uniqueness is one, the diversity of life experiences that brought you into nursing. So when I first began studying and learning from nurses, I spent time with a cohort of students just like you. They were FNP students. And I sat in classrooms with them and interviewed them. And one of the things that struck me most was the diversity of ways in which people entered into advanced practice nursing. Many of the students I spoke with, like you, had worked as CNAs, as home health care aides, as LPNs before becoming nurses, registered nurses. And I began to understand that it was because of these experiences that often enabled them to be the provider in the room who truly understood what their patients had experienced or would experience when they navigated the larger healthcare system. They knew, as you know, because you've been there. I met students who probably like some of you came to nursing a little later in life, perhaps as a second career, who brought experiences as teachers and raising children, working in retail, selling insurance. And those experiences too, help you to know who your patients are and what they're struggling with. You don't have to read about um, their experiences in a textbook. Um, you know the kinds of lives that your patients lead because you've lived some version of it yourself. Now, of course, I'm not describing everyone's experience. There are some of you in the audience where this is your first career. Maybe you went straight from undergrad, did two years on the floor and came straight to frontier. But even you, you've worked alongside your colleagues, sat with them in class and learned to value this diversity of experiences that they are bringing to the profession and to the classroom. Now, there are things that I cannot know about nursing as an outsider, um, but sometimes, the vantage point from the outside can help um, one see things that you may not see from the inside um, because nursing does not always see this diversity of experience as a strength. 
right? Quite frankly, it doesn't always fit with the professional image that nursing wants to project. But from the outside looking in, I want to tell you truthfully that it is this diversity that makes you unique as a professional. You are who you are because of how you came to nursing and how you have changed nursing practice by bringing that experience to bear in the classroom and at the bedside. The second thing I've learned about advanced practice nursing um, is that they bring, you all bring an experience that your physician and physician assistant colleagues with whom you share your patients do not have. And that is the experience of being a nurse, of being at the bedside. And that too is a different vantage point from which to understand patients. I remember speaking with one NP student many years ago. Um, he had come back to school after working at the bedside as an RN for eight years. And I remember asking him to describe to me what the transition from doing the work of an RN to that of an NP was like. And he set me straight really quickly by saying, I'm still a nurse. I'll always think like a nurse. He told me that he believed it was his RN experience that was really essential to shaping how he saw his role as a nurse practitioner. For him, quote, the unique experience of being a nurse is being with people at a very vulnerable time in their lives. When you don't have to worry about prescribing meds or ordering tests, it really frees up a lot of time for us to simply be with the patient and to not just see the patient as a medical diagnosis or a set of problems. I think having that experience as a registered nurse and interacting in that way with patients and families gives you a unique perspective on primary care, which is to say, from his perspective, he did not transition, he did not change, he, sim he simply deepened in how he embodied nursing practice. So much of what you bring to advanced practice nursing um, is not just the addition of new knowledge and skills from, that you've learned from inside the classroom, but of something more, more existential. Right? It's about a kind of difference that is learned through the experience of being a nurse. So whether you had an entire career at the bedside before you came back to school or only one year, every minute of that time matters because that experience of being a nurse matters for you, for your clinical practice, and it will eventually matter for your patients. And finally, three, what I've learned about advanced practice nursing um, is that the experiences that brought you to nursing and the experiences that you've had through being a nurse uh, all come together to create a patient encounter that is characterized um, by an existential openness, a skilled form of presence that allows you to listen to the fullness of your patient's concerns. Um, and so to illustrate what I mean by existential openness, I want to end by recounting a story um, of something that I witnessed um, when I spent time um, with a nurse practitioner who I'll call Michelle. Um, so I sat with Michelle one day um, while she was meeting with one of her patients, which who we'll call Mr. George, um, and Mr. George had congestive heart failure. Um, and as Michelle was sitting in her office, she learned that Mr. George had gained seven pounds in the past two weeks. So for the non-providers in the audience, rapid weight gain from fluid retention is one of the classic signs that something is amiss for someone with heart failure. But what is amiss in any one instance could be any number of things. It could be a worsening of the condition. It is a chronic condition. It only gets worse, it doesn't get better. Um, it could be a change in diet, an increase in salt. Um, it could be a problem with his medication. So this was a slow moving emergency, but it was an emergency. Um, because if Mr. George retained too much fluid, it might eventually move to his lungs and he might find himself struggling to breathe. Now, someone with heart failure has a doc. They have a cardiologist. Um, but sometimes the job of a primary care provider is to be the one who makes the decision of whether you can be treated um, in, um, um, in primary care without going to see the specialist. But also their job can be to decide if it's important to do the kind of networking work, um, um, the making the kinds of phone calls that can get a patient in front of the specialist sooner rather than later, which is to say a well-placed phone call from a provider can turn a two-month wait into a two-day wait. So when I watched Michelle at work, this is what I saw. I watched as she spent half an hour listening to Mr. George describe how he took his medications and when. 
Because Mr. George was not conversant with the names of the medications he took, she showed him pictures of each of his pills as she asked him when he took them. She was meticulous in her questioning. And when she got to one of his last medications, Mr. George said, Michelle, this one I take halfways. And she stopped and she asked, Mr. George, what do you mean by halfways? And after a bit of questioning, she learned that he was only taking half of this pill. He was concerned about side effects and he thought he felt better when he took less of it. What he didn't know was that the pill he was taking less of was one of the medications that helped him manage his heart failure. So in hindsight, this was a clear problem of medication compliance or a problem of patient education, um, the kind of problem you might, if you're in a well-resourced practice, refer to someone who's not a primary care provider. Um, but the nature of the problem only appeared in hindsight. Michelle had to ask the questions and she had to listen before she could know. And those open-ended questions were key because if she had simply asked him, Mr. George, are you taking your pills? He would have reported honestly, yes, he did. Or if she had simply looked at the numbers, she might have sent him off to the cardiologist and he might have had his medications changed or increased unnecessarily. So it wasn't watching interactions like this that I really began to understand what it meant to think about nursing practice as nursing difference. That when folks say that nurses listen or that they care, they're not talking about how much they smile or how nice they are. Of course, being nice is always great, but it's not about that, right? It's about a practice. It's about a cultivated skill because this open-ended conversation did not just make Mr. George feel listened to or cared for, but it mattered for the medical management of his chronic condition. But the other thing I learned is that this listening had another function because it was through listening through, um, through which Michelle didn't just learn about what she wanted to know about, which is how he was taking his medications. She also had a moment to learn from him um, and how he expressed his own ideas about how each of the medications that he took made him feel. In the context of this conversation, he was able to ask questions of his own about why he was taking certain pills or why the pharmacy switched his, brand, his medications from brand name to generic. She learned how he reasoned about which pills to take and when. She learned that despite not knowing which pills were for which condition, he was otherwise willing and compliant with taking them. So in addition to learning why he was retaining fluid, she learned about his support network, his personal resources, um, um, so that if she needed to help him problem solve a different issue in the future, she'd have a better idea of how to make that happen. Michelle, by the way, started in nursing decades ago as a diploma nurse. You don't see very many of those anymore. Um, and she too brought all of that experience to bear, combined with her training and her expertise to treat patients like Mr. George, to help them live the best version of their lives as best she could. Uh, this existential openness to the fullness of the patients you see is one of the many things that makes you different. And I tell you this because often when people talk about the value of advanced practice nurses, they talk in terms of sameness. They talk about how well you can replace other kinds of providers, healthcare economists and hospital administrators, maybe even some of your friends and family, believe that your value is measured by how closely you look like a physician. And physicians most assuredly have their role to play. They are valuable and valued members of the healthcare team. But I want you to remember that your value cannot be measured by how closely you look like anyone else, but in how you practice as yourselves, because you are not replacing, you are adding. You are adding something unique and valuable to healthcare through being a nurse to your patients. So I will end where I began by congratulating you in advance for meeting the needs of patients like Mr. George who will have found in you a willing ally as they navigate a social and economic terrain that is often at odds to their quest for health and well-being. Congratulations to the graduating FNPs for making the phone calls, navigating the bureaucracies, and negotiating the confusing network of systems that your patients are forced to navigate as you provide primary care. Congratulations to the graduating mental health NPs who are really on the front lines of meeting the needs of patients who have um, really been left to fend for, them from the, um, fend for themselves with their mental health care needs. Um, 
Congratulations to the Women's Health NPs and nurse midwives for having proven you have the courage to meet the needs of your patients during an historical moment that is openly hostile to the idea of supporting the full scope of reproductive and maternal health care. Congratulations to the DMPs for not only helping individual patients clinically, but helping to improve the larger systems in which your colleagues work and where we all receive care. And congratulations in advance to all of you for remaining true to your commitment to practice from the fullness of your lives, from the fullness of your expertise and knowledge, and from the fullness of your experience of being a nurse. Thank you. And now back to Dr. Stone. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Trotter. I think you make us all proud to be nurses again. And I love the idea of all of our graduates just deepening their skills as they move forward in their profession. So thank you for your inspirational words and excellent insights. Next, I would like to introduce Dr. Danny Webb. Dr. Webb has been a member of the Alumni Association for seven years after graduating as an FNU from, uh, from Frontier Nursing University. He also received his Doctor of Nursing practice from Frontier Nursing University. He is a devoted primary care provider to his patients at Longstreet Clinic in Gainesville, Georgia. He was elected as president of the association in October of 2018, and we are so grateful for his service. Dr. Webb? Thank you, Dr. Stone. What does it mean to be a Frontier alumnus? After all, you are now officially a Frontier nurse. When Frontier was founded, the vision was to have an infinite growth of educated Frontier nurses serving across the planet and to have Frontier nurses be a part of a global network of professionals serving communities across the globe. This vision continues to be fulfilled to this day. You have att attained the greatest education available for advanced practice nurses. Frontier is more than a place. It is a legacy, a tradition, and more importantly, a fellowship. You are not brought here by chance. I like to think that we truly do not choose Frontier, but instead, Frontier and those before us choose us. Frontier nurses that have come before us have set a high bar. And now it's your time to shine and share this vision, along with the skills that you've learned at Frontier with the rest of the world. In closing, this group of graduates continues to be unique in, the, in that you have done this work through the pandemic of a lifetime. Keep your head high, go forth, and continue to care for mothers, babies, fathers, and families. Stay true to the Frontier vision and provide heartfelt caring as I know you are capable of doing. Remember the examples set by the pioneers of Frontier and realize that you are a part of a rich tradition of caring. As part of this, please consider joining the Alumni Association. The sense of camaraderie is great, and by doing so, you will know that you are never alone in your journey. You've reached the finish line. Now soak it up. Take time to take a deep breath, love yourself, your family, and your friends, and celebrate your accomplishments. It truly is in every one of us. And now and forever, you will always be Frontier Strong. Congratulations on becoming a Frontier Nurse. Now back to you, Dr. Slager. Thank you, Dr. Webb. Each year, the Frontier faculty nominates students who have displayed outstanding leadership. Nominees must have demonstrated leadership in the development of programs or projects, professional organizations, healthcare policy, honor society, and their communities and exemplify Frontier's mission statement. All nominations are reviewed and scored by the awards committee. The department chairs for each specialty track and the doctorate program director will now share with you the recipients of the 2021 Leadership Awards. We'll begin with Dr. Tanya Nicholson, department chair for Midwifery and Women's Health, who will tell us about the recipient of this year's Kitty Ernst 
Leadership Award. Thank you, Dr. Slager. The Kitty Ernst Leadership Award is presented to a graduate from the Department of Midwifery and Women's Health annually. This award recognizes outstanding leadership abilities and honors our very own Kitty Ernst, who has been a pioneer for modern midwifery and for Frontier Nursing University. Kitty inspires us all to lead with bravery and persistence and to always focus purely on what uplifts the very essence of midwifery, which means with woman. I am pleased to announce that this year, the Kitty Ernst Leadership Award goes to Cheryl Appleton. Cheryl is a midwifery graduate who has a demonstrated history of leadership. As an undergraduate nursing student, she was the president of her state student nursing organization and also served as chair of the Council of State Presidents for the 2013 National Student Nurses Association Annual Conference. She has continued to serve her peers as a member of Frontier's Student Council and has worked on nursing legislation during her undergrad and graduate nursing careers. She has served our profession as the student representative to the Board of National Government Affairs Committee in the American College of Nurse Midwives. Her leadership service also extends to service in the remote area medical organization. Cheryl truly lives out the mission of Frontier in these endeavors and we cannot wait to see all that it is ahead for you. We are so pleased to present Cheryl with this award. Cheryl, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Dr. Nicholson. I'm so humbled and honored to be receiving the Kitty Ernst Leadership Award. Kitty Ernst is a pioneer in midwifery and she's usually the strongest presence in any room she occupies. I remember the first time I heard her speak at Frontier Bound. She was tough, she was kind, she was passionate, and uh, she encouraged all of us baby midwives to claim our seats at the table of healthcare decisions in this country and to pave our way for new midwives to join us. Now, as we begin the next leg of our midwifery journey, I wanna encourage all of my fellow midwives to carry Kitty's dedication, passion, and call to leadership with them into their careers. Be vocal, be informed, advocate, educate, support not only our patients and families, but also each other in big and small ways so that the passion we feel right now remains as fiery as Kitty. Thank you, good luck to all of you, and please give the gift of preceptorship. Hello, I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel. I'm chair for the Department of Family Nursing. The Leadership Award from um, the Family Nurse Practitioner Department recognizes one student who demonstrates leadership, ability, as well as academic and clinical excellency. Recipients are nominated and chosen by the faculty. I'm pleased to announce the recipient of this year's FMP Leadership Award is Vanessa Shields Halls. Vanessa is a natural at leadership and has received numerous awards during her years as a nurse. Vanessa's awards have been based on her leadership, service, and scholarship. For example, Vanessa served as the Director of Health Policy with the Louisiana State Nurses Association. She's also served as the president of her class at Frontier and was inducted into Pi Chi the chapter of Sigma Theta Tau at Frontier Nursing University. Much of Vanessa's work has been in diversity and inclusion with a focus on minority and underserved populations. One of Vanessa's goals is to be a leader in policymaking around universal health care. Congratulations, Vanessa. Thank you, Dr. Chappelle. I'm honored to receive the Frontier Nursing Family Nurse Practitioner Leadership Award, and I look forward to serving my community in rural Maine and working towards a more equitable healthcare system for all. Hello, I'm Dr. Jess Callahan, Chair of the Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner Department, and I have the honor of presenting the PMHMP Leadership Award. This award is presented to a graduate that embodies compassionate, compassionate leadership, which is a pillar of the Frontier mission. I am pleased to announce that this year's Psych Mental Health Nurse Practitioner Leadership Award recipient is Jamie Henson. 
Jamie's work as a mom, volunteer, and cl clinician have left an indelible mark on her community for others to emulate. Most notably, Jamie recognized the need for medication-assisted treatments for substance use disorders in her medically underserved community. These treatments were previously scarce until Jamie and her team began offering this life-saving treatment uh, to her patients. Jamie's efforts are a great example of the impact that our graduates have on their communities. Excellent work and congratulations, Jamie. Unfortunately, Jamie was unable to attend today's ceremony. Greetings, everyone. A gracious good day to you all. I'm Dr. Jane Houston, the director of the Doctor of Nursing Practice Program. And today I have the honor to present two awards. First, the DNP Leadership Award. This award recognizes a DNP graduate who exemplifies these values and is shown by their commitment, active and engaged leadership. We can truly think of no better example than Dr. Karen Tepper. Dr. Tepper is an adult nurse practitioner, clinical specialist in home health, and a 2020 DNP graduate of Frontier Nursing University. Karen has worked with underserved populations for over 25 years in both clinical and leadership roles. Congratulations, Dr. Tepper. Thank you, Dr. Houston, and thank you, Frontier Community, for this prestigious award. I am surprised, I'm grateful, and I'm humbled. My mother is an immigrant, a survivor of World War II Germany, and my father's family were immigrants that escaped depression in Eastern Europe. My family's expectation as a responsibility for the privilege of living in America was attaining education, advocacy for my fellow citizens, and service to the community. And I'm grateful that I've had the opportunity to serve several communities through leadership and advocacy. The education that I received at Frontier Nursing University was of immediate use, both in my day-to-day -day work and also my service to the community. And several of those examples include Dr. Arbor's course in evidence-based practice taught me to critically evaluate research, which was a useful skill when a study was presented to my local board of health. I was able to talk with my local board members about the strength of the study and the potential impact to the town. Dr. Pound's course, Nurse as an Educator, taught me the process of putting together a clinical project teaching plan, of which I was able to use the process to assist my past cohort of nurse practitioner residents with their scholarly project. Dr. Cole's course, Principles of Independent Practice, or Turn on Investment Process, was used for the development of a nurse practitioner residency of which I'm the co-director. This process was used to engage internal and external stakeholders. In Dr. Karsnick's course, Leadership and Organizational Dynamics, I teamed with a fellow student to develop a poster presentation on servant leadership. Through that learning, I adopted some of the framework of servant leadership to enhance my current leadership style. Dr. Houston and Dr. Butler's mentorship for the IHI Quality Improvement Project proved invaluable as I'm currently leading the regional transformation project at my current position, and I'm using many of the same tools and processes that I learned. The Frontier community was invaluable to my learning. I'm grateful to DMP 35 and 36 cohort for inspiration and collaboration, and most especially to my QI support team of Joyce Tuchupu, Sylvia Dennison, Isabella Wobb, and Lisa Marie McCusker. And I wanna thank my husband, Jay, and my family for their ongoing support. In closing, thank you so much again for this award, the DMP Leadership, and I look forward to staying connected to Frontier Nursing University as an alumni. Well, so many congratulations and so very well-deserved, Dr. Tepper. And thank you so much for coming today. Now I'd like to turn and tell you about our exemplary DNP Project Award. In this, we recognize outstanding commitment to excellence. And in the last year, we felt one really stood out from the crowd. This was Dr. Francis Jordan Aho's project entitled Patient-Centered Approach, Improving Antenatal Care for Maasai Women Using World Health Organization 
guidelines. Dr. Aho truly exemplified the mission and the vision of the university with this quality improvement and health equity initiative. And she continues to excel in providing evidence-based care to Maasai families. Dr. Aho lives in rural Kenya and recently Dr. Jollis and I were able to surprise her there in Nairobi. And we're going to show a short video and then Dr. Aho will be receiving her award. Thank you. Hello, Nairobi in Kenya. Hello, Dr. Aho. This is Jane Houston. And we've got a wee surprise for you uh, this morning. We really wanted to uh, be the first to uh, congratulate you that uh, you are going to be awarded the DNP Exemplary Project 2021 on behalf of the DNP faculty. So we'd like to congratulate oh my you goodness. for your amazing project. Oh, well, thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. Well, we really, um, we feel like you exemplify the mission of the university and we're so proud of you and your work with the Maasai community. So congratulations. You, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's very special. Thank you, Dr. Houston. Uh, I feel honored and grateful to be the recipient of this year's award. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, uh, to, to thank those who supported me on my journey to DNP. First, my husband for being my rock, my children for sacrificing time with their mother and family, um, my family and friends, my husband, sorry, uh, my DNP clinical faculty, Dr. Diana Jollis, my mentor, Dr. Lisa Lawrence, my cohort, and most of all, God for giving me the wisdom and strength to complete this program. In addition, I'd like to thank God, um, to thank God and the AMS First Center staff for the huge role they played in making this project a success. Without them, this project would not have been possible. And finally, I'd like to thank the local Maasai women for being my reason and drive to continually seek to improve the women's health care in my community here in Kenya. I am proud to be an alumnus of Frontier Nursing University. I chose FNU because the mission resonated with me, preparing compassionate leaders to serve all individuals, but particularly those from diverse, rural, underserved communities. Not only do I believe in the school's mission, but FNU made it possible for me to complete my education while living abroad for the majority of the time. It is my aim to continue the work started by our founders, helping to close the gap in inequality of healthcare for women around the world. Once again, thank you, Dr. Houston and FNU for making it possible for me to be part of this program and for recognizing me today. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations, Dr. Aho. And thank you, Dr. Houston and congratulations to all of our Leadership Award winners. Each year, the Student Council coordinates the identification of two faculty recipients of the Excellence in Teaching Awards. The entire student body then elects these educators, one from the academic faculty and one from the clinical faculty. Here is Student Council Representative Leanne Norris to tell you about the recipients of the 2021 Excellence in Teaching Faculty Awards. Thank you, Dr. Slager. Frontier lost two beloved faculty members in May of this year. The student body determined that this year's Excellent in Teaching, Excellence in Teaching Awards should be given in memory of Dr. Ruth L. Saucer and Dr. Jan Weingrad Smith. We believe this to be a fitting tribute to each of their legacies. These honors are awarded each year to faculty who have demonstrated consistent and exemplary communication, make themselves easily available to students, are courteous, respectful, and supportive, generously share pearls of wisdom and experience, go above and beyond the requirement of their position, and are role models for advanced practice nursing. This year's Regional Clinical Faculty Award recognizes Dr. Jan Weingrad-Smith, the FNU community has spoken highly of her, saying, and I quote, Dr. Weingrad-Smith committed, was a committed faculty member, 
a wonderful midwife, a mentor to other faculty and students. Another student shared this. Dr. Weingrad Smith has a wonderfully, was a wonderfully supportive mentor and cheerleader through my FNU experience, especially during the challenges of finding a clinical site during the pandemic. There were numerous student comments detailing the qualities that made Dr. Ruth Elsasser Kohlberg a worthy candidate for this year's fa academic faculty award. Many reflected upon Dr. Elsasser as an engaging and compassionate educator. One such comment stated that Dr. Elsasser had the gift of turning a difficult subject like pharmacology into a fun and engaging subject. She was an amazing professor. She helped me really understand the content. Another student shared that she was kind and truly related to you. She did everything she could to make sure you did well. She was an instructor and practitioner that I admired and strived to be. It was a Tremendous honor to be part of recognizing the considerable contributions of these two gifted educators and practitioners. May their legacies live on through the work of those they equipped for service in answering the call. Thank you, Leanne and the entire Frontier student body for choosing to honor the contributions and the memories of Dr. Weingrad Smith and Dr. El Sasser in this very special way. And now back to Dr. Susan Stone and Dr. Carter for the presentation of our 2021 Frontier Nursing University graduates. Well, welcome to Zoom. We're awaiting Dr. Stone to come on and join with us. Uh, meanwhile, I'll uh, fill in some wonderful uh, time here. It's, it's such a pleasure as the uh, chair of the board to see the absolutely wonderful things that the students and faculty have done to advance this uh, great university and the uh, work of becoming nurse midwives, nurse practitioners, uh, in a variety of areas, so it's it's our pleasure. Dr. Carter, with your permission, I can present the students. Please do. Thank you. So as the Dean of Nursing and on behalf of the faculty of Frontier Nursing University, I am pleased and honored to present the candidates for the following degrees, Doctor of Nursing Practice and Master of Science in Nursing and Postmaster's Certificates as Nurse Midwife and Nurse Practitioners. These students have fulfilled the academic and clinical requirements for their degrees and are now prepared to practice the profession of nursing as nurse midwives, family nurse practitioners, women's health care practitioners, and psychiatric mental health nurse practitioners. Uh, Dean Slager, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Frontier Nursing University, I accept your nomination for confirmation. Uh, of these candidates for their respective degrees and certificates, we the board wish to express our profound hope and challenge that your work as graduates of this university will promote the health and wellness of all people. Now, by the authority of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, invested in the board of directors of Frontier Nursing University, and by them delegated to me, I do on the nomination of the faculty grant and bestow on each of you the degrees and certificates for which you have been presented and confer on you all the honors 
rights, and privilege to them appertaining. Congratulations. The graduates will now be presented in groups by degree and or specialty. We will begin with students receiving the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree, who will be presented by Program Director, Dr. Jane Houston, and Course Coordinator, Dr. Kara Jefferson. Thank you, Dr. Slager. It is our pleasure to present the DNP graduates. Dr. Francis Aho. Dr. Laura Anderson. Dr. Ayana Artis. Dr. Haley Baker. Dr. Ashley Barnes. Dr. Joshua Barnes. Dr. Haley Beeson. Dr. Holly Borcourt. Dr. April Bradshaw. Dr. Taylor Brockman. Dr. Kimberly Broughton Miller. Dr. Mindy Brown Lechner. Dr. Victoria Buchanan. Dr. Jennifer Burgos. Dr. April Campbell. Dr. Johnny Handler. Dr. Christine Carrier. Dr. Denise Castellano. Dr. Raisha Hoddle. Dr. Marjorie Cecil. Dr. Eiste Chamberlain. Dr. Jennifer Shodi. Dr. Joyce Chukwu. Dr. Katia Coley. Dr. Kalima Collins. Dr. Laura Columbia. Dr. Crystal Cooley. Dr. Jeffrey Cowley. Dr. Mary Crichton. Dr. Heather Crich. Dr. Akosua Darkwa. Dr. Marion Dean. Dr. Sylvia Denson. Dr. Gael Duvivier. Dr. Eric Efwetengu. Dr. Allison Ensign. Dr. Christina Felton. 
Dr. Tiffany Figaro. Dr. Ashley Fournier. Dr. Heather Friend. Dr. Autumn Fusilier. Dr. Jindaye Johnson Gant. Dr. Cassandra Garcia. Dr. Sammy Gaffaru. Dr. Thomas George. Dr. Sandra Golachevsky. Dr. Caitlin Goodwin. Dr. Jennifer Grisham. Dr. Ronald Hale. Dr. Stacy Hanna. Dr. Kai Hawkins. Dr. Belinda Potter. Dr. Barbara Hunter. Dr. Tatiana Jack Reddick. Dr. Kimberly Jones Beatty. Dr. Julie Knutson. Dr. Jody Kotwitz. Dr. Leslie Rose Kwiatkowski. Dr. Rachel Carolyn Wong Lien. Dr. Christy Lord. Dr. Marion Vanita Lott. Dr. Sherry Lynn. Dr. Lawanda Mann. Dr. Bianca McClammy. Dr. Eric McCraney. Dr. Lisa Marie McCusker. Dr. Karen McDonald. Dr. Joseph McFadden. Dr. Charles McLeod. Dr. Sally McNally. Dr. Sarah Ness. Dr. Ruth Milky. Dr. Amy Miller. Dr. Lacey Mills. Dr. Hazel Frida Mitchell. Dr. Michelle Mitchell. Dr. Lauren Nabiev. Dr. Ellen I.T. No. Dr. Christina Latin Musum. Dr. Patricia Newton. Dr. Chanel Nsongu. Dr. Olawakemi Ojo. Dr. Abimbola Olaroaju. Dr. Diane Ortega. 
Dr. Natashel Oscar. Dr. Leanne Odemeyer. Dr. Tina Hawk. Dr. Latia Pierce. Dr. Angela Price. Dr. Protegeny Reed. Dr. Robert Reynolds. Dr. Paige Rowland. Dr. Jesse Said. Dr. Stacy Sheeran. Dr. Rachel Sherman. Dr. Tennille Sims Allen. Dr. Marie Stanley. Dr. Becky Stubblefield. Dr. Dora Swanson. Dr. Isabella Tebid Ba. Dr. Karen Tepper. Dr. Mabel Tregora. Dr. Christy Turner. Dr. Angela Uguani. Dr. Michelle Wathier. Dr. Kristen Weston. Dr. Cynthia Williams. Dr. Takesha Kimberly Williams. Dr. Nicole Wilson. Dr. Alexis Wright. We congratulate all the DNP graduates. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Tanya Nicholson. I'm the department chair of Midwifery and Women's Health. And I'm going to be joined by... Hi, I'm Dr. Eileen Thrower, and I'm the clinical director for the Department of Midwifery and Women's Health. And we have the pleasure of announcing our nurse midwifery grads. Lindsay Adams. Cheryl Appleton. Ariel Bakit. Vicki Barlow. Christina Berry. Brianna Black. Justine Glow. Anna Boats. Jessica Brider Boner. Leslie Brewer. Kristen Carter. Ashley Chamberlain. Simone Chang. Nikki Christopher. Sarah Cubbage. Simone Curd. Lydia Dennis. Whitney Dockery. Molly Doyle. Lindsay Duff. Cedar Durfee. Linda Ebright. Pamela Fernandez. 
Katrina Fields. Ashley Franklin. Elizabeth Franks. Kristen Frost. Olivia Futch. Latrice Gachette. Mary Gauchier. Cheryl Gale. Sarah Gallegos. Megan Gildo. Grace Gilroy. Chelsea Gleason. Nicole Gonzalez. Rebecca Gorski. Janelle Green. Bethany Grimes. Amy Guzman. Heather Hamlin. Trisha Thomas. Jennifer Hayden. Aaron Hayes. Lynn Henderson. Jacqueline Heron. Victoria Hill. Janessa Hodges. Caitlin Hornbeck. Alisa Horton. Karen Howell. Tatiana Johnson. Audrey Katz. Heather Keys. Cami Carriage. Haley Kieschel. Christina Klossmeyer. Crystal Comp. Bridget Legro. Sarah Lamoth. Leah Long. Rochelle Marble. Lori Martin. Alyssa Martinez. Kelly Matiega. Alicia McDunn. Abigail Meyer. Kate Meyer. Katja Meyer. Shannon Marich. Deanne Moore. Dominique Mosley. Lakeisha Murphy Spencer. Brandy Norton. Queen Wakanwa. Jessica Olano. Jenny Onby. Jane Palmer. Stephanie Post. Brittany Poe. Jennifer Powell Tichetti. Aria Pretlow. Shannon Ramey. Nicole Ramirez. Katana Ratliff. Rebecca Rain. Kimberly Rickard. Bonnie Rivas. Sarah Sean. 
Brittany Schultz. Alana Scott. Jalisa Simprit. Mary Sekowitz. Michelle Smith. Sarah Stevens. Lindsay Stinger. Ashley Stroot. Amanda Tanner. Anetra Taylor. Leah Taylor. Jessica Tinglon. Sarah Tyler Peterson. Heather Usher. Lisa Faji. Danielle Walker. Julia Wombolt. Christy Watkins. Amy White. Tristan White. Jordan Witchman. Dieter Willer. Madeline Williams. Kelly Wilson. Kate. We also have the pleasure of announcing our Women's Health Nurse Practitioner graduates. Kelly Blackman. Eileen Bowman. Shamikia Brown. Jenna Brown Kirk. Laura Case. Jasmine Christopher. Anna Clavijo. Heather Irwin. Catherine Goley. Colleen Higdon. Laura Calix Krasafi. Catherine Mead. Heidi Mosher. Sarah Musa. Camlin Nowak. Elizabeth Sherry. Kristen Shaver. Anna Schlugman. Jessica Wells. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel, the chair for the Department of Family Nursing. And I'm Dr. Katherine Arterberry, and I am the clinical director for the Family Nurse Practitioner Program. It is our pleasure to announce the Family Nurse Practitioner graduates. Estera Alexa. Caitlin Berger. Kelsey Bukowski. Kelly Baumgardner. Karen Burke. Carolyn Kate. Anna Maria Soferno. Vanessa Cole. Kara Crispin. Kimberly Cunningham. Megan Darden. Erica Deckel. 
Brasa Delatrain. Elena Diggs. Epac Doles. Jesse Ann Dryden Parrish. Amanda Evans. Samantha Evans. Tatiana Frederinko. Meredith Fowler. Jennifer Gregory. Jody Hall. Elizabeth Halls. Ebony Hollins. Chelsea Hamas. Rosie Javier. Lindsay Johnson. Lydia Kachakuri. Amber Kaler. Cassandra Clacken Viramontes. Matthew Knoble. Rachel Kohler. Jennifer Kreiserek. Erica Kuhn. Rianne Lappinga. Chad McNaughton. James Mara. Sherilyn Mars. Amy Marvin. Erica Mitchell. Jennifer Moores. Abange Gimbus Ninji. Kirsty Nomch. Deepali Patel. Summer Pearson. Kelly Rainwaters. Laura Randall. Kamethia Redman. Pamela Rodriguez. Brittany Rogers. Julie Rosenbluth. Mason Ross. Jennifer Rudnick. Shernette Samuels Bremnor. David Smith. Ashley Sockpick. Andrea Steinberger. Tara Stevens. Wendy Tillman. Cherish Tucsonot. Elizabeth Vassallo. Kristen Watts. Wanda Weir. Diane Wilkin. Charlita Williams. Jill Willis. Congratulations to all the family nurse practitioner graduates. Hello, I'm Dr. Jess Callahan, Chair of the Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner Department. And I am Dr. April Dobroth, Clinical Director of the Psychiatric Mental Health Program. And we're honored to announce our 2021 Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner graduates. Ezra Alamarovich. Nicole Barker. 
Lanier Barnes. Heather Bartlett. Perkiti Shalange. Jana Cheek. Carolyn Coleman. Teresa Furbish. Marissa Goldfinger. Christine Hart. Kathy Jacobson. Kelly Lehman. Anna Luezo. Shelly Matthews. Michelle Nicalian Christier. Rhonda Merrill. Gigi Moore Sheev. Nugosi Anho. Cody Pittman. Vanessa Plumley. Kendra Roberts. Jamie Shanalak. Joseph Schweitzer. Shoshana Scott. Heriberto Sierra. Amy Smith. Shamia Sullivan. Cheryl Faxton. Jennifer Thomas. Ifuoma Yuzo Anabogu. Natasha Wheeler. Brian White. Congratulations, graduates. And I will now turn it over to Dr. Stone. I'm now privileged to invite all graduates to move your tassel from the right to the left. This signifies your movement from a candidate for graduation to a graduate. Congratulations. Please join me now for the FNU Virtual Circle Up. This is a time-honored tradition at Frontier Nursing University. During our various activities, such as Frontier Bound, Clinical Bound, Crossing the Bridge, and actually any time we feel the need, we invite our community to form a circle and reflect on the day, the week, or in this case, your whole educational experience and what it means to you. Circle Up stands for our values, our core values of compassion, innovation, community, legacy, excellence, uniqueness, and primary care. Most of you have participated in Circle Up either on campus or online. At this time, we will share a video reflecting other Circle Ups, previous Circle Ups, and also some images from the time, your time at Frontier. We invite you to circle virtually and reflect on your frontier experience, as well as looking forward to a bright future. It's in every one of us to be wise. Find your heart, open up both your eyes. We can all know everything without ever knowing why. And it's in every one of us. By and by, it's in every one of us to be wise. Find 
Dr. Tanya Nicholson will share a rendition of our school song. Feel free to join and sing with us. The words are in the back of the program event, event program, excuse me, and can also be reviewed on screen during the song. So, Dr. Nicholson. And therefore we have come to join hands and hearts together to give gentle care to families united we learn for the babies and for the mothers the fathers and for the brothers the sisters and all the others we come here to learn and when we have completed this task that we have before us, our culture of caring will circle the globe. Thank you, Dr. Nicholson, for sharing your incredible and touching gift of song. Again, we congratulate you all on this huge accomplishment. We wish you the very best in your personal and your professional future. Remember that we're here for you. And as an alumnus, you will remain as an important part of Frontier Nursing University forever. Best wishes on this important day and all the days that lay ahead of you. Congratulations. <laughs> 